What's going on guys, Jesus Messi here and welcome to a brand new video and welcome to the transfer episode today. And from today, the 1st of December, I'm going to try and get a transfer video every single day, if not six times a week. So that's part of the build up to the January transfer window, but I'll also be doing it throughout the whole of January as uh, from right now, the rumors are starting to pick up every single day. So just before we get started, if you could do our good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you don't miss an upload. And finally, in the comment section below, what do you think will be the biggest transfer this January transfer window? Right, so let's jump straight into it. And the very first one today is going to be a potential end of an era card on FIFA 20, and that is Lavezzi. Um, there were rumours circulating the other day that he's going to be retiring from football as uh, his contract at her Bay China Fortune is expiring at the end of this month. But he has said he'll think about it over the Christmas holidays, but a decision hasn't been made just yet, but it's almost been taken. So quite possibly in a couple of weeks time he'll fully announce it and uh, we should get some kind of decent card on FIFA 20. Then we have got Wayne Rooney. His transfer to Derby County was confirmed a fair few months ago, but he's now started training with the club after making this switch from DC United. He won't be able to play until January because that's when obviously the official transfer window opens, but he'll be able to get used to his new teammates and the new formations and whatnot in training right now and probably kick on straight away in a few weeks time. Bruno Fernandes has signed a new contract with Sporting, but his contract extension, it doesn't actually extend it past his previous one of 2023, however it does increase his buyout clause to 100 million euros. And um, that doesn't mean he'll go for 100 mil, because apparently the Portuguese side will settle for a fee in the region of 70 million euros, or 60 million pounds should an offer come in. Some news that broke on Friday, which I'm pretty certain you've heard of now, is going to be Arsenal sacking Unai Emery. And to replace him, Freddie Jungberg has come in to take responsibility for the first team and um, basically be their uh, caretaker manager or interim head coach as they look for a replacement for Unai Emery. Now, potentially he could be given the chance to take him to the end of the season. We'll have to wait and see. Uh, but there's a fair few names going about. So RMC are suggesting Arsenal have begun talks with Wolves boss Nuno Espirito Santo and he's a number one priority to replace Unai Emery. Whereas Sky Sports are suggesting they've had contact already uh, with Italian manager Max Allegri. Now, who takes over? Again, not too sure right now, but we should find out fairly soon. And the apparent other people on the shortlist are going to be Carlo Ancelotti from Napoli and um, also quite a controversial one potentially for Spurs fans is Mauricio Pochettino. And next up, according to Sky Sports, they're saying Jan Vertonghen is ready to hold contract talks with Tottenham again that's following the arrival of Jose Mourinho. The Belgian defender has been heading towards the free agency in the summer transfer window, but he's now willing to commit to an extended stay in North London. Um, before it was him, Toby Alderweireld and Christian Eriksen potentially going on freeze, but it seems that two of those at least will sign new deals. Barcelona defender Todibo is the subject of interest from Juventus, as the counter capture Mercato. Bayer Leverkusen are also keeping tabs on the 19-year-old and is eager to secure a move to Turin ahead of the January transfer window. He only joined Barca one year ago from Toulouse and they paid a bit of a premium to get the deal done early, um, but I'm assuming because of lack of first-team football, he might try and go elsewhere. Calcio Mercato also is saying that AC Milan remain interested in Juventus and Turkish international defender Demiral. He has been linked to Man City and Arsenal over the last couple of weeks, as it does seem Juventus are willing to sell him. Next up, Goal.com are saying that Flamengo have used Felipe Luiz as a middleman to open discussions with Atletico Madrid striker Diego Costa as over a potential return to Brazil. They've identified the former Chelsea man as the ideal replacement for Gabriel Barbosa as they face stern competition to sign the on loan star man. Gabigol was their hero from last season, not only in the league but also the Copa Libertadores where he scored two very late goals to secure the trophy, but it looks like Inter are demanding a very high fee now to make it a permanent switch. So potentially Diego Costa, who was linked to Flamengo during the summer window, he might try and link up with Felipe Luiz yet again. And next up a story about Gabigol is that Everton are interested in signing River Plate's forward Rafael Santos Bore and Inter Milan's Gabriel Barbosa, who is currently on loan to Flamengo. And bear in mind that Everton's current boss Marco Silva is under a bit of pressure 
and potentially by the end of this weekend could well be sacked. And the apparent replacement for him could be the Flamengo boss, George Jesus, and quite possibly Gabigol, he might all link up with him yet again. LA Galaxy have made contact with the representatives for PSG striker Edison Cavani according to La Ten Sport. He will be a free agent at the end of the current season and the Galaxy are hoping to bring in the Uruguayan forward as a replacement for Zlatan Ibrahimovic. Another player on the shortlist is Mario Balotelli and they want to get a replacement in fairly close to the start of the MLS season. TalkSport are claiming that Schalke goalkeeper Alexander Nubel is a possible transfer target for Tottenham. The 23-year-old is held in very high regard in Germany and he could be a long-term replacement for Hugo Lloris at Spurs. A transfer looked very likely a couple weeks ago as Mario Mandzukic making the switch to Manchester United. But according to The Athletic now, they're saying United have dropped their interest in the Juventus striker. Um, there were like outlets suggesting he could be training with them this month ahead of a winter transfer move, but now United aren't really interested anymore. Record are reporting that Arsenal and Manchester United are both interested in Atlanta United star Ezekiel Barco and they could make an offer for the 20 year old when the transfer window reopens. He's also linked to a move to Sporting just in case Bruno Fernandes makes a move elsewhere um, and in regards to a fee, not sure how much it would cost the team to get him. Real Madrid are weighing up a sweep for Atletico Madrid central defender Jose Jimenez as according to Don Ballon. The Blancos are prepared to table an offer of 75 million euros, but the 24 year old is likely to remain loyal to his current employers, as given the fierce rivalry between the two clubs. And judging by most of the stories in the papers, it does seem that Real Madrid's main priority right now is bringing a new central defender in, as a couple of days ago they linked to Skriniar from Inter Milan. And next up, 19 men are saying that North London rivals Arsenal and Tottenham have joined the chase for Nice defender Yusuf Atal. The versatile 23 year old is very much in demand with interest from clubs from Spain, Italy and Germany and alongside Arsenal and Tottenham from the Prem, Chelsea apparently want to try and sign him as well. He can play as a right back, can play in midfield or can play on the front line on the left and right hand side. Manchester City are interested in signing Brescia midfielder Sandro Tonali as a corner to Fischer-Jez. Pep Guardiola is eager to bring the 19 year old to the Etihad Stadium having been impressed with his recent performances in Italy. And uh, you might recognise the name if you haven't seen much Serie A football because recently on FIFA 20 he got a league SBC card. A player linked to a move away from City now according to Goal.com is Leroy Sané yet again. And apparently Bayern have met with his agent over a potential move for the City star. The German side's previous attempts to land the 23 year old were put on hold during the summer window because of a serious knee injury suffered in August. But Sané is still a buying top target, the a move right now appears to be more likely in basically a few months time rather than in the winter window. The Independent are saying that because of the relationship breakdown between Jadon Sancho and Borussia Dortmund, the German side could listen to offers this January. He's uh, again very very in demand but could cost a very large fee and the likes of Manchester United, Liverpool, Barca, Real Madrid, they're all interested. They do mention that the player himself is willing to leave but I'm not sure where they've really got that from as um, there's also places saying he's not going to push or remove this upcoming window but could wait until the summer instead. AS are saying the presence of Ole Gunnar Solskjaer at Manchester United could help them land Erling Haaland. The Red Devils form part of a star-studded cast of clubs that have their sights set on the prolific teenage striker and a deal could be done with Red Bull Salzburg in January. I mentioned a couple days ago how uh, Leipzig really want to sign him as well and they've got like a, a first refusal of £27 million but for United they might have to pay double that. Arsenal are planning a £35 million offer for Real Madrid's Colombian midfielder James Rodriguez who is believed to be in favour of a move to Inter Milan or Paris Saint-Germain instead as according to El Desmarque. He was very close to making a switch to Italy during the summer window because Napoli were very interested um, but they couldn't really get a deal over the line and the reason for that mainly is because Marco Asensio picked up a horrible injury and uh, Real Madrid wanted to keep both Bale and James Rodriguez as cover. Seven clubs have held talks with the entourage of Kai Havertz. That's with the Bayer Leverkusen midfielder set to decide on his future in the coming weeks. This story is from Sport Build. 
Bayern Munich and Barca are currently the favourites for his signature and other clubs interested and in talks with him are Liverpool, Manchester United, Manchester City, Chelsea and Real Madrid. Bayer Leverkusen are holding out for a fee close to 130 million euros and um, Bayer made an offer in the previous transfer window of around 90. And whoever he goes to, I said the same thing about Sancho, he's a world-class talent. And the next one is a player potentially going to Leverkusen. So apparently the German side is set to activate the 15 million euro release clause of River Plate's Palacios, which has annoyed the club's manager due to the timing. Um, the fee itself, obviously if a release clause is there, they can't really do too much about it. But Leverkusen will pay a total of 21.8 million after agent fees and taxes. He was able to move to Ajax a couple days ago, um, but obviously it hasn't been confirmed just yet. But the River Plate manager basically confirmed it. A very interesting one now is that PSG are on the verge of signing Allen from Napoli in January. They were strongly linked to a move full of Napoli and Brazil midfielder last summer, and the Ligue 1 champions have reportedly reached a verbal agreement to sign the 28 year old in January. He would cost upwards of £50 million, and in regards to FIFA 20, his road to the final could be an insane hyperlink to Neymar. A very short one from the Daily Star is that Spanish champions Barcelona are leading the race to sign Pierre-Emerick Aubameyang. Other clubs interested in particular are Real Madrid, and the Barca are leading their rivals currently. France football are saying Messi spoke to Neymar after Barca's Champions League semi-final defeat to Liverpool last season, and he asked the Brazilian to return to the Camp Nou to win the Champions League and then succeed him when his contract expires in 2021. Muno Deportivo do suggest that PSG are still willing to sell Neymar next summer, that's to help finance a new contract for Kylian Mbappe. A story from Don Ballon is that Real Madrid boss Zinedine Zidane is determined to sign Chelsea midfielder N'Golo Kante next year. The French would love to see a fellow countryman seal a move to the Santiago Bernabeu and the Blancos are preparing to table an offer within the region of 100 million euros or 85 million pounds. Another player into Madrid from uh, La Parisienne this time, they're making a pretty bold statement by saying PSG and France World Cup winner Kylian Mbappe, he'll join Real Madrid this summer. It goes against what the PSG board are currently saying that Mbappe will be staying and will be a PSG player next year. Um, but it's still a long time to go. He potentially could sign a new contract, or he might try and force a move. Real Madrid are preparing to launch a bid for Bayern Munich defender David Alaba in January, and again the source is Don Ballon. They are hopeful a 50 million euro offer will be enough to land the Austrian from the German champions, and that's when the transfer window reopens. But that guys is going to be it for this video. So if you could do that good stuff by leaving a like rating, press the subscribe button if you're new, and press the bell notification next to it so you never miss an upload. My previous video will be down below in the description box, and the uh, current schedule from now on will be every day, if not six times a week, 8 a.m. UK time will be a new transfer episode. So thank you for watching this video, I'll see you next time.